The other week when we introduced you to the bird's eye view, Ms. Miriam created this amazing artwork, looking down on the earth from above, with the tops of the houses, the tops of the trees, the top of the bird, the roadways. In the water, she showed how it goes from light to dark blue as it gets deeper. Such a great introduction to what we're doing this week. When I step out onto the balcony on one side of my house, this is the view that I get. It is pretty fantastic, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate this greenery outside of the balcony and on my front door. I wonder what the view is like from your house. But if I change viewpoints and I come to this side of my house, it is very different indeed and my viewpoint really changes my point of view. Now the photographer Jan, I always mix up his name, Jan Artis Bertrand, he took a bird's point of view and went around the world taking photographs to see what he could do to raise awareness about global issues. We're gonna have a look at his photographs and use them as a source of inspiration to create art. You'll see in the instructions for this activity that there's a link to a Padlet where I have saved a number of Jan Arthus Bertrand's photographs. Click on the link, you'll see a map, and click on the pin locations where you'll find photographs that he took in those different places around the world. If you open the photo into an enlarged view, you can save the photo onto your device. If you click respond to the activity, you'll also see photos saved in the template that you can access and look at. When you've chosen an artwork, you can think back to all the skills and techniques you've developed already and use those, or you can have a go at using collage to create your artworks inspired by these photographs. Open up the photograph that you saved on your device Gather some resources, it might be magazines or cardboard that you've collected around the house. And what you need to do is collect and tear up or cut up into small pieces all the different colors that you need. Be sure that you gather enough of the color and material that you want to complete your artwork before you get started. Sketch out your design with a pencil and then prepare your materials and you can then get glue. It could be glue stick or white glue or any kind of glue that you have. Once you've got the paper, put the glue into the space you wanna fill and then add the paper on top of it. Once you finish with the collage materials, remember all those experiments you did with the oil pastels and markers and watercolor paints and coffee and tea and fill in that remaining space. I wonder how looking at these photographs of the earth from above will inspire you to appreciate the earth and take better care of it.